It's always been a hard knock life for members of the homeless community. Now, with the advent of COVID-19, things have become even more challenging. When it, the corona business right now, nobody pay rent on my... Kavi Wilson says he's been living on the streets for about seven years. He says while food is provided at the government's soup kitchen in the daytime, it is difficult to get meals in the evening. Can they bring some food for our heat at night time? Can we have vagrant? As Will Colborn says, because of the curfew, there are now fewer opportunities to solicit assistance from passers-by. And the people do on the road, so it's hard for, for me. If I don't eat, maybe 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Not necessary for until tomorrow again, if God's pay life. Colborn has been living on the streets for about five years. He says an injury from a vehicular accident two years ago makes it difficult to get around. Also limping is Willett James, who fell at the public market four years ago. Many of the vagrants sleep here, on the containers at Perry Bay. They say they try to follow the safety protocols, including social distancing. We do that. You five feet apart and you five feet apart. We have that. <laughs> I do what they say to do. Cover up and this and that and that, you know. Muhammad Alijan from Sweets, who says he's been living on the streets for 12 years, says he's particularly concerned for the injured vagrants. My concern is just a shelter for them so they could stop sleep on the streets. In the meantime, whenever they get a chance, the men gather for a meal under the shade of a nearby tree. Jamie J. O'Shea, ABS News.